Hey LaDonna, it's me, Banded Wendy. How are you? I am uh, on the fly making your response video to your struggles video today. I probably am one of those people you spoke about in your video who says if you stick to the program, uh, that's how you win. Maybe it's because I'm a cash pay, but that program's real important to me. And uh, I do stick to the program as best I can. So that is how I'm doing it. Uh, some days are better than others, you know? And I have the support of my banded bitches, which is a really unique thing. Um, so maybe you'll get some VSGers uh, to, to join you on a text messaging thing or an emailing thing. Or if you have a Blackberry Messenger, I have one. Uh, happy to be your Blackberry buddy. Um, I'm pretty intense. <laughs> uh, so making a video on the fly for you and there's somebody coming in my office to talk to me. So anyway, I'm going to show you how I stick to the plan uh, to answer your questions. Uh, hopefully it helps. Um, I'm a program plan sticker. And uh, one day at a time is the best advice I can offer. You know, you can't be perfect every day, but you have to measure. It's a metric, right? We know what we're supposed to be doing and we know what we're doing. And any gaps that are in between, it's our job. Uh, to try to fill those in. And I love that Dr. Garth is your surgeon. I've met him, um, introduced myself to him, and uh, helped uh, in the conversation to secure him working with the Weight Loss Surgery Foundation of America. And he's going to be doing Connie's gastric bypass. So I just get a huge big thumbs up to you and to him. So that's pretty cool. So here I am at my office. I only have to take vitamins one time a day. I would talk to Dr. Garth and see if you really have to take them four times a day. I don't know anything about VSG. Um, so hopefully some VSGers will get back to you and you can share with Dr. Garth maybe one time a day is easier. Um, but this is what I do. So I have this fit and healthy, which sounds like it's similar to what you have on my desk at work, right? These are everything I take every day. So I have my regular vitamins, I have my DHA fish oils, I have my omega-3s, I have my biotin, and I have my fiber gummies, right? I pretty much take them out. I think I've done a video on this before, so I'm doing it again. Whatever. Um, you're special. Right. So I take them out in the morning when I get here, and I line them up. And this is what I do every morning. It's my practice. I line them up, and I take them. And I take them as a snack item throughout the day. My doctor's never told me I had a certain time frame I needed to take them. And by the end of the day, they're gone. And sometimes when I realize I haven't taken them, uh, all of them yet, uh, I just open up the box and start eating out of them. So, and the other thing I would advise you, if, if you, you know, I don't, I think you work out of the home, but I don't understand it. As far as putting them in your purse, before I had this thing, I did Ziplocs. And I refilled, I filled them on Sunday, and I put all the vitamins I needed on Sunday in a Ziploc. I put that Ziploc in my purse. Um, makes me have to go back to my purse. At home on the weekends, I take this thing back home. Um, we also have vitamins sitting in our kitchen on the counter. Uh, both my fiance and I are weight loss surgery patients. He has bypass, I have band. Um, and he stopped taking vitamins for years. <laughs> um, but I'm slowly getting him to take them again. So we keep them in the kitchen, not in the bathroom. It's, it's like when you go to number two, you don't really think about taking vitamins. But when you're in the kitchen putting things in your mouth, you think about it. So maybe you want to move them out of the bathroom into the kitchen. Uh, and maybe you want to have some in the kitchen, or some in the kitchen, some in the bathroom, and some in your bedroom, since it sounds like you take them at night. Um, weight loss surgery friendly recipes. There's a YouTube channel started by I Thin Spire. Uh, it's got a lot of my recipes on there somehow. I don't know how. Uh, I think she went and favorited them. But it's cool. And there's a bunch of others. WLS recipes on YouTube. Check it out. There's a channel, there's recipes. I personally Google stuff, and I Google protein stuff, or if I want beef, protein-driven beef meals, you know, they are family-friendly. I also buy books at the grocery store when I'm standing in line, and I'll go through and I will edit those recipes to make them uh, weight loss surgery friendly. Or technically, they're all weight loss surgery friendly because I can only eat a certain quantity. So you can pretty much make and eat anything you want. Um, it's just the control of the portions, in my opinion. Um, what else? Uh, oh, um, that dress you're wearing. Super cute. Uh, I had two of them, a pink one and a blue one. And I gave them the Lauren Taylor 87 when I outgrew them. 
um, and I shrank. Uh, so cute dress, you look good. Love the accessories. I'm such a horrible accessorizer. Um, what else? And those weight stalls. We all have them. The scale balances. It moves, you know? And I go right back to the rules. Water. How much are you drinking? 64 ounces a day. You know, I take a picture of myself with my empty bottles, and I share them with my banded bitches. Uh, and that's how I know I'm doing it. I used to think I was doing it, and I wasn't. Um, I count my calories, and I count my protein, and uh, I eat out of one cup containers, and um, I eat three small meals a day, and I snack if I need a snack, or some filler in my stomach on the Starbucks black tea. Half water, half uh, non-fat milk. 119 calories, 10.9 grams of protein. Mm. Love it. Actually, it was at Starbucks when I listened to your video in the car. So, outside of that, hang in there, keep doing it, and uh, keep making us videos. Hopefully this helped. Take care. Onward. Bye.